Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seem Lund and in this video we're going to talk about the new US plan to create super soldiers using this anti-aging supplement. And uh, we're going to talk about what kind of a supplement it is and what kind of effects does it have and does it have like any potential for, you know, military performance and uh, soldiers. So, make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. Do it. So, last week or so there was this uh, many articles about uh, new anti-aging supplements being used in the US military to enhance performance, etc. And I'm I'm just going to spoil it. It's uh, NMN, it's a uh, NAD booster, etc. Disappointed! And this article I found specifically from NMN.com. US Special Forces to test anti-aging pill based on NAD+. Special Operations Command anticipates clinical trials next year for a human performance small molecule that may combat the degenerative effects of aging and injury. The Special Operations Command is partnering with the company Metro Biotech, advised by anti-aging specialist Dr. David Sinclair, to test the NAD Plus uh, boosting supplement. So what is NAD then? Um, well, basically, if you haven't heard about it, then NAD is this major coenzyme in the body that is involved with a lot of different kind of processes, mostly with energy production, DNA repair, uh, just energy metabolism and uh, that sort of thing. And as you get older, your NAD levels tend to go down, which then uh, leads to the, uh, the uh, let's say, accumulation and culmination of all these different kinds of uh, degenerative diseases, Alzheimer's, osteoporosis, obesity, insulin resistance, and aging in general. And using NAD supplements has been shown to, at least like in animal studies, to have some benefits on slowing down this process, as well as raising the NAD levels back up again, so that you would uh, basically slow down the process of uh, biological aging. There's more. Uh, Harvard scientist and anti-aging expert David Sinclair leads the board of advisors for Metro Biotech. Although details about the pill's composition remain murky, Metro Biotech and David Sinclair have developed anti-aging products like MIB626 with a molecule nicotinamide mononucleotide NMN, uh, which is a precursor for bo for and boost level of uh, NAD+, a crucial cofactor involved in over 400 metabolic reactions in cells. <laughs> So the military is always kind of, uh, you know, uh, looking out for these different kinds of technologies, uh, supplements and compounds to uh, enhance performance and uh, create like super soldiers. And uh, although like I don't think like NAD is any, anything like miraculous, it's not a super crazy uh, drug. Like it's not as good as steroids probably if, uh, if the uh, special forces started to take steroids, they would probably have a bit of a better performance enhancing effect. Uh, <laughs> and if they started to take like some other gene therapies or genetic engineering, then those things would be probably more effective. The NMN and the NAD, uh, they have to do mostly with uh, just dealing with some of the damage that you may experience in combat and uh, when you are in like the special forces or any kind of this high, high stakes, high physical job like uh, firefighters, uh, policemen, uh, any kind of, uh, you know, uh, any kind of a vocation that is involved with a lot of stress, a lot of uh, trauma, a lot of uh, concussions, a lot of let's say, yeah, just aging related diseases, uh, neurodegeneration, uh, physical de degeneration, all those things, uh, they can be benefited from uh, NAD. And uh, I think the biggest benefit that NAD has actually has to do with uh, the circadian rhythms and sleep and uh, that sort of thing. So um, NAD is involved with the regulation of the, cir of the uh, circadian rhythms through uh, sirtuins. So sir sirtuins are these longevity genes that uh, regulate your metabolism, regulate DNA repair, as well as uh, the circadian rhythms. And uh, sirtuins use NAD basically to conduct their processes. So if your NAD levels are low, then your circadian rhythms are going to be misaligned. And with misaligned circadian rhythms, everything else begins to fall apart. And uh, your body isn't basically able to produce the hormones the right way and not produce energy as either. So whereas the, with the NAD boost, you can uh, counteract that and uh, yeah, that essentially would uh, mitigate the uh, age or the diseases because you know, no doubt about it, being in the military, being any kind of uh, this uh, high stakes job uh, would accelerate your aging because of the stress, because of the inflammation, because of the sleep deprivation, because of the circadian mismatches and those things. So using uh, the NAD supplement, NAD boosters for those vocations uh, would make the most sense. I could do this all day. And it's also like not that expensive, you know, um, it may it may appear to be a bit more expensive for uh, compared to like vitamin D or compared to a magnesium supplement. NAD boosters are uh, substantially more expensive than that, but it's not as expensive as uh, something else. Uh, I don't know, you know, like some peptides or some some uh, other things that the soldiers could use at the special forces. So let's look at the Metro Biotech website as well. So they don't have any products yet, but they do have like a few articles and pages. So uh, Metro International Biotech is a privately owned clinical stage pharmaceutical company that has established the most comprehensive portfolio of proprietary NAD plus precursors in the world. 
uh, MIB626 is the one that they were mentioning here, and some kind of NMN, so David Sinclair is on the team, some other doctors. Uh, what we have achieved, manufacturing a naturally occurring proprietary human clinical grade NAD enhancer. Designed and synthesized over 100 novel NAD plus enhancers, screened for optimal therapeutic properties. So that's interesting, like, um, I haven't heard that there's like, you know, over 100 <laughs> novel NAD enhancers. Like, a few natural ones are, you know, niacin, uh, nicotinamide, uh, nicotinamide riboside, NMN, uh, tryptophan, those kinds of things, nicotinic acid. So there are like natural compounds that uh, boost it, uh, but uh, yeah, like they're probably doing it more the synthetic route and uh, more artificial route kind of new uh, compounds that they can patent basically. So they're still using it as a way to create the uh, products <laughs> to uh, sell and uh, make money out of uh, like this MIB626. I'm pretty sure that it's patented, uh, proprietary blend uh, and uh, yeah. You son of a bitch. This also got me thinking of, okay, like the US special forces are taking uh, NAD boosters. So I haven't heard like anything like that from uh, the Russian side or the Chinese uh, military. So, uh, you know, I think that, um, you know, it's definitely not as good as actually good training, so to say. You, you still have to train well, you have to be a good soldier, etc, etc. So it doesn't have like any actual performance enhancing effects. It's not giving you night vision, it's not increasing your endurance uh, beyond a certain limit. It just helps you to recover faster and raises you back to a baseline, so to say. And maybe part of the reason that the US military may need to take like an NMN is that, you know, the average US citizen, uh, I would imagine, is a bit less healthy than someone in China or the, or, or Russia, for example, because you know, there's a worse diet, etc. So their NAD levels would be much lower naturally, uh, much faster because of the poor lifestyle habits and the increased inflammation and that sort of thing. So maybe the Russians and Chinese don't even need NAD because their own NAD levels are much higher. But yeah, generally, I do think that uh, soldiers, especially special forces, um, even like uh, nurses, doctors, firefighters, uh, pilots, policemen, uh, all those uh, high stakes jobs, they can definitely benefit from uh, NAD, uh, NMN, which one ever it is, mostly because of the circadian aspect, the sleep aspect, the DNA repair, the reduced inflammation, and uh, yeah, just the improved recovery by using that. So yeah, like most average people that don't really need to use that uh, Unless they are like super old, uh, like in their 50s or 60s, then that is the time uh, they may benefit uh, from starting to take uh, NAD. But like I said, if you already have low NAD levels when you're young, then uh, it can still be a pretty good uh, supplement to take uh, even then. Alright, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Uh, have you taken NAD? Have you taken NMN? What are your experiences? And uh, yeah, also make sure you click like, subscribe, hit the notification bell as well for future videos about these uh, kinds of topics. Thanks for watching, my name is Seem, stay optimized, stay empowered.